One of the reasons why we chose K3 is because we feel that they are a very underserved group. While we live in the suburbs of Washington and have access to lots of institutions that offer professional development, most of these uh, programs are geared towards secondary teachers. And so the K-3 people are required to teach history in their classrooms because of our state standards and requirements, yet they are generalists, they do not have the background knowledge, and they really don't have access to targeted professional development. They were very easily recruited and then turned around and quickly recruited other teachers. So um, this is a group that had extraordinary enthusiasm for what we were doing because they sensed that need and in their classroom. So. We did have um, elementary teachers in our previous grants and while it was again the focus was content, we felt that some of our elementary teachers were intimidated by the content knowledge base of our secondary teachers who could at times be very intense and passionate about history. And so we decided that as an underserved group it would be easier to really address their background needs and get them comfortable with the history content to give them the confidence to be able to um, do some in interesting, engaging, creative ways of um, instruction. You know, the, they read three books during our one-year TAH program, but over the course of the years they've come back to me with volumes and volumes that they've read. And then that enthusiasm that was developed <coughs> comes across in their instruction, runs over into the kid, and another unintended consequence of this also was the kids going home and telling their parents because at the primary level parents are always asking what did you do in school today what did you learn and the kids were just bubbling about what had happened in school and what they had done in history class and learned about it and with our large ELL population these are parents that do not have a background in American history and so the parents are also learning from the kids and of course that motivates the kids more because their parents are interested. So it was a very nice unintended consequence. A lot of our K-3 classrooms are covered with little stickies because wherever, you know, Eleanor Roosevelt is up in the classroom, kids come back with little stickies of what they've Googled about Eleanor Roosevelt and stuck up on the wall. So there's evidence everywhere of the enthusiasm and the, and the sort of taking root of history that's happening outside of the classroom. And they are pulling their parents along with it too, according, at least anecdotally, to our teachers.